and Ole Miss has one of the best running games that you are, you are going to witness. Leading rushing team in the SEC, Rebels won the toss, elected to receive. We are underway inside of NRG Stadium. 29th time this season, the Rebels have gone for it. They've converted on 15 so far. Dart across the middle, and it's incomplete. The slant was broken up, looking for Jonathan Mingo. And what a bowl season it has been so far. The Liberty Bowl currently in overtime. And now Texas Tech on its first play from scrimmage, Dre. How about this? Yeah. Honoring the late Mike Leach, the head coach in Lubbock. From 2000 to 2009, he passed away earlier this month. You see the wide splits on the offensive line. Well, that's, that's what his offense did. The O-line would split out wide like that to make sure. The penalties declined. First down. To make sure they were in man-to-man -man or one-on-one -on -one blocking situations with the offensive line. What a tribute by Coach McGuire and Coach Kiffin. Shot in a quarterback. Bear Morton also on the field for the first time. And a pass is going to be picked off. Intercepted two yards deep in the end zone by Trey Washington. Judkins in the backfield, the SEC Newcomer of the Year. The hand to wow. No real estate and down he goes. Penetration. Miles Cole says hello. Nice job by Shuck. You see the 4-0 start this year. Quick game, tunnel screen. One defender miss, make it two. It's first down and goal, Bradley. Taj Brooks, the running back. Jumbo set with Morton in motion. He moves under center. They snap it between his legs. Shuck's got the touchdown. Well, that's one way to do it. Rebels have turned it over on fourth down each of their first two possessions tonight. Evans in the backfield, the Houston native, time for Dart, has a man wide open and a chunk play for Ole Miss. It's D. Wade, Dayton Wade, the Western Kentucky transfer. A crack of daylight, he can take it to the house. Using tempo, screen pass, Malik Heath made one man miss, tripped up inside the 20. Second down and five, Evans straight ahead. Barrels his way for a first down, a gain of six. That makes a big difference for the Rebels rushing attack. Stay with the hot hand. Evans turns the end zone for the touchdown from eight yards out. Little home cooking. It feels better back in H-Town. A lot of weapons in this game for both sides. In the backfield, at running back and at wide receiver. And a big gator on the way for the Red Raiders. On type player, very athletic. He can do it all. He's been the leader for that group. Al Patter, it was caught. That's a first down, a gain of 11 to Jaron Bradley. Bradley with that 6-5 frame. We mentioned it earlier. When he gets down close to the, the red zone, 73 yards receiving. And guys, after further review, the receiver did not have firm possession of the ball. From the left hash from 42 yards out. As the incompletion forces fourth down and nine and one. Gives Texas Tech the lead. Dial it up again here on fourth down. But showing eye formation and play action. Dart's going to heave one deep. Double coverage. Intercepted. It's a great play, but you're just hoping for him to drop it. Ten play of the drive coming up for the Red Raiders. Won their last three games to close down the regular season. With Fungi on the screen. He stays in bounds. Finally ushered out inside the five. Empty backfield for Shuck, and here we go. Shuck, the screen, blockers. Not this time. Stopped inside the two. After the infraction, first and 15. A lot of movement for Texas Tech up front. Play action for Dart. Pass floats, and it's intercepted. Waters has it, Money Waters. Another big play for the Red Raiders. The Red Raiders, Thompson in the backfield. Shuck's going to keep it again. Shuck dives in the end zone, and he's got the touchdown. Second score of the night for number 12 in red, and Joey McGuire loves it. you got to keep your head on a swivel here. And it's going to be a fake. 
And it's going to be stopped short of the line to gain. The snap was retrieved by Wade. And we're on the verge of setting a record. Fourth and two. Here's the pass in the flats. And that's enough to move the chains. <laughs> Takes you back to your running shoot days. No tight end in those in that uh, that system. Screen pass to Thompson. It is blown up for a loss of five, maybe six. Or when you're when you're out there by yourself, make sure you're making the tackle. Third down and long. Shuck buys some time. Completes the pass. Bradley makes a move. Then gets crushed. And a chip shot on the way on fourth and five. And Wolf has been automatic just about all season long. They had one scoring drive that went 75 yards in a minute 17 in just five plays earlier in the half. Dart's going to keep it. Ball came out late and let's see. Boy, he hit the turf hard and it felt like the ball sprung out just after he hit the ground. I don't have a signal from the officials and I'm not sure he was he looks shaken up too like he's he's kind of not right after that that uh, Hutchinson tackle. Indication yet. Early on the field is a fumble recovered by the defense. First down. The thing about it is you can't tell if the ground caused it or if the ball was loose already. It's moving around. It is a fumble. Need a little time here. Brooks has a big first down. A nifty finish inside the 20 and a 10 yard game. Maybe. Third down out of the timeout. Pass is caught. That's a touchdown. Jaron Bradley, the freshman. Came against Arkansas in the Liberty Bowl. Red Raiders going for two. Shot on the screen. And they came up just short. Baylor cut. The own on there and going for it on fourth downs in your own end of the field like that. That's tough. Junkins trying to break loose. Longest run of the night ahead to the 39 and an 18 yard gain on first down. Second down and 11. Time for Dart. Heaves one deep. Has a man wide open as Watkins. That's a first down into plus territory. Sent out hard to the 32. To crush me when he hits me. He knew it. Dart pulls it out. A little bit of real estate. Shifty cut. Where Tech will dominate at times and then Ole Miss not having their way right now. Tech dominated the second quarter. Junkins racing ahead towards the 10. Zach Evans, the running back. Third and goal, pocket collapses. Pass is caught for the touchdown! Jordan Watkins! 15 of 17 in the field goal department. He's been perfect. 47 tries on the PATs. Until now. Second and 10. No fumble, no recovery, an incomplete pass. And Brooks is going to try to bounce it outside. He does. Close to a first down, and how about that finish? Well, my shoulder pads in high school. <laughs> sure, I can hit somebody and not get hurt. Andre Ware, the blocker. That's another first down. Ripping away Fungi into plus territory. Every once in a while, I'd get a block in there. First down, toss Miles Price behind the line. Racing ahead. Breaks free. Price with a cut. Inside the 30, a gain of 20 yards. Straight man to man with a safety in the hole. How about a running play? And Brooks with a stiff arm will pick up five, and that's in the stop by Young. Just inside the right hash, and Wolf. No, no good. Rebels take over just outside their own 20. Zach Evans was pinned down awkwardly. Was there a face mask? That call missed. Today's world of football, how do you miss that one? Mounts to a TFL, and Evans corralled in the backfield again by Rodriguez. Third and 18. He'll fake the screen to walk and start under pressure. Incomplete, and that play had no chance. And Texas Tech will start this drive once again in plus territory. Shuck will keep it, trying to get to the edge, shoved out, and he's going to lose two. Aishim Young checks in to replace Tennyson after the targeting call. Shock is tripped up, and that'll be behind the line, a loss of two more. Center, Dennis Wilbur. Third down and very long. Shuck's going to buy some time. Backside pressure, the ball's out. Who has it? About three different scrums. It was Robinson that forced the fumble. 
Jared Ivey with the fumble recovery, the transfer from Georgia Tech. And Robinson gets it out, and it's just Shuck holding it a little bit too long. When you start to feel the pressure, that ball's got to be gone. You cannot set your feet when you feel a defensive lineman coming from inside out on you. You've got to throw that one on the move, but it needs to come out of your hand. The way you save the possession, can convert and keep playing here. Shotgun snap to Dart, handoff, Judkins didn't need much, and I don't know. Hutchings met him in the hole. Shot flips it, pass, caught. And how about that grab? Chuck will keep it, and Chuck has a first down. Two-yard gain, fourth and one, drive continues. Chuck, right side, first down. Excellent read. And the Red Raiders content. Utilize a little time. Fake the sweep to Price. Breaking open in the red zone, inside the one. Red Raiders moving quickly, and that's a touchdown. Thompson. On the jet sweep. White trying to get to the edge. Lassoed out of bounds. Second down. Wide open. That's another first down. Dayton Wade. Ball comes out. And Texas Tech has it. Third down and one, guess who? Tyler Shuck off and running. Racing into the red zone. Zach Kelly told us he was still the first player in the building while he was injured. I mean, he never gave up on this team on this season. The pass incomplete here intended for Teeter. And then a glorified extra point. This time, splits the uprights. Not what you thought of him, just he was just him. He didn't care what you thought of him. The great Mike Leach. We will miss authentic. We will. Well said. Pass caught for a first down. Red Raiders posted that on their social media accounts. I would encourage you to check that out. As uh, Mike Leach certainly we miss for a long time. Good run by Dart ahead to the 30 and a gain of 22. Keep himself loose. Judkins straight ahead. Judkins with a big gainer. Stopped inside the 10, a gain of 21, one of his longer plays of the night. Approaching the halfway point of the fourth quarter. Dart takes off. Dart diving for the end zone with the flip and the touchdown. Like to make this a two touchdown affair here. Altmeyer on the field for the first time retreating off the back foot. Heaves it incomplete. And the losses this year, the common denominator, the turnovers. NC State. Carter Finley Stadium in Raleigh comes to mind. Look at this. Punishing run. Cameron Valdez. Well, the ball came out. The ball came out before he crossed. This is where you've got to make sure. Well, the ball in the field of play. There's no doubt. Went into and through the end zone and over the end line. Result of the play is a touchback. Second and ten. Try a little trickery. And it goes nowhere. Sack, seven yard loss. This one he. This will be a first down and a big play coming from Malik Heath. And a handoff. Zach Evans needed 10. And he will get it, I believe. Raiders, again, that defense is keeping Ole Miss rushing attack in check for the most part. Judkins finds a little daylight. Tripped up crossing the 20, gain of 23. Freshman of the year in the SEC, Dart. Out of the stoppage and a one-handed grab. Front part of the end zone, it was Heath. Yeah, just used his size at 6-3 to kind of fight and freed, with, freed his left hand up. And this crowd comes back to life, over 53,000 strong. Dart steps up, heaves it incomplete. Back towards the right, a different approach. 
caught cleanly. Off and running and a touchdown for Texas Tech. It was Fudgy. A 44-yard kickoff return for a score. Rebels have it first and 10, just outside the 10. Running out of time and Dart is going to be intercepted in the end zone. Tyler Owens. Under Joey McGuire with a bang. Four straight wins to close out 2022. Eight and five in year number one. He says, I'm a high school coach that coaches college football. Coach, you're at the next level now. And big things on the horizon in Lubbock.